Okay. Okay, so we're going to do the first of our ground fighting techniques in the in the Warrior Quest uh, Northampton Dojo. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, student here, and what we're going to do, we're going to work for this first ground defense. So maybe I've got her here, I've thrown her to the ground, she's down on the floor, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a moving position here. So I'm actually sitting across her chest. The first important thing is, is with the elbows. That if she brings the elbows down so that I can't wire her elbows up here, I can move up here and she's in a worse situation. So she wants elbows down here like this. So I can't get up to, to actually move in. Now there's three variations from here. We can do a, an arm lock here, we can do a choke here, but what I'm going to do is look at how we're going to how she's going to defend for a punch. So she does like a little itchy monji, a little figure one here. That stops me coming down the center line here. So I'm kind of forced to throw my attacks around the outside. Now in reality, of course there'd be punches. But for training, I've used my open hands. What's important is I actually try to get it. So if I throw the first punch in, she's going to stop that punch and return straight back to that center line. I throw the next one, she returns back to that center line. Third one, back to center line. Now we're going to do this at kind of full speed now. One, two, three, and she's going to catch my arm. Let's do that again. Just here, one, two, three, and pause my arm in. Now it's very important for training you don't put your fingers here because the next minute she will break them. So make sure your hands are inside. At the same time, she's going to lock my ankle here. So I've actually got no way of stopping myself rolling this way. This way, I can actually try to roll through this way. I can stop. I can put my hands here. I can post down. But as she goes your way now, she can roll me over. And she comes up here. And she's locking my arm. And here I'm into my sternum. Okay, from here she can in put a leg, I'm striking into my groin, but she can go to that nerve point, and, okay, and she can escape out of that. We've done once more, she got under the air, down onto the ground, down she goes, um, I'm here, over the top, start throwing one, two, three, she pulls her in, locks the leg, pulls me over, and then what I could do for here is lock her here, so she cannot escape, so she brings the leg up, and she brings it right across my body, she turns the over, and locks this leg here, okay, or from there she can escape by rolling or wherever else she wants to escape and, and that's it. So let's go one more time. So we're down on the ground. I'm sitting on the top, on top of a, a, a torso, elbows are here. One, two, three, she pulls her in, locks the leg, pushes me over. I lock to stop her moving. She brings the leg up. Brings it right up to the top, turn it over, and then roll the way. And that's the first of our escape techniques for a ground hold.